All right, catching up uh, with Chris Finozio. Uh, pretty good day today, actually, for Chris. He's had a bit of good news, but um, firstly, welcome back, Chris. Thanks, Paul. I see Phoenix. He's uh, got a little bit going on in the next couple of days. Firstly, we might touch on the Hammerhead um, for Clubman Angle. I'm looking forward to being back there next uh, Saturday night. Um, great race to be a part of. Yeah, it is. It looks a... Uh, yeah, it'll be a pretty tough field, but, yeah, it's a great race on a great night of racing. He doesn't get easy races anymore, this horse. Like, he's, he's got up in his grades pretty good, but he's, it's amazing the job he's doing, handling himself with the big league. Like, he's only a five-year-old. He's only lightly... Like, he's lightly raced. He's, he's learning his craft, but he's handling it so well. Yeah, he's done a great job. I think he's had 30 starts now, and he's had, uh, he's had a fair bit of racing, obviously, the last 12 months. It's over 12 months ago, I think, brought him into work to get him ready to go to uh, aim, sort of loosely aiming at the Great Square in Queensland. So everything since then, sort of thinking he might need a bit of a break at some stage, but he's handled everything terrific and just kept stepping up. It's actually th funny. I was, I was just going through my head and I was thinking, he's just been everywhere. Like, once you start thinking about where he's been, he's been everywhere, hasn't he? Yeah, like, it just haven't been able to give him a good break since then, but uh, he's just had a bit of time away at the water walker and sort of decreased his track work a little bit and increased his swimming and just tried to keep him yeah ticking along as good as we can and yet yeah, so far he's been handling everything really good have you won a hammerhead have you been a, have you been a part of a hammerhead before uh no i haven't won i actually um looked after a couple up there from maddie craven and al parco won the hammerhead yeah. so i've uh been involved with one a little bit but yeah this will be my first one uh training and driving i think it's a great race such a speed race on such a speed track to like they could run anything on the right night and if it was like chariots of fire night the other night that's a right night yeah definitely obviously um mary times the fastest australian trotter of all time and i was involved with her a bit at chris langs and saw chris develop her into a, you know being one of our top mares and drove her at the trials a few times for him and then uh she went to Brent Lilly and he did a fantastic job keeping her going and taking her up there and have her go that quick. So, yeah, it'll be, um, you would think with that field, there's some top trotters in it. They could maybe go close to that time. Was that in the Hammerhead? Uh, well, I'm not sure, but in... Uh, it was at Manang, it was at Manang, it was a Sunday afternoon, so I th but I think it was because I think they might have changed the times at that stage. Yeah, I think she went 51.5, so I'm not sure if it was exactly the Hammerhead or uh. one of their mile races, but um, she was... Toddy McCarthy had her ready to go that day and Brent Lilly. Yep. Someone will be watching. Someone will put a comment on the on the bottom of the post. Um, I think it's great. I think it's great the way that he's going. And the main reason I was coming here today was well, not the main reason because I am promoting Menangle as well. I just talk harness racing. I don't really care. But getting an invite um, to go over for the Tab Trot. The Tab Trot is what it's called over there now in uh, New Zealand. And uh, it's great that the Tab are getting behind it. Um, but you've also got an invite in there. Duncan McPherson and the Elder Aaron Park Limited, I think it is, have actually invited you over to fill their slot. One, uh, You must be wrapped when you got that phone call. Uh, yeah, definitely. We've been sort of speaking to Duncan for a little while, the owners, and um, yeah, it's it's a great opportunity. Sort of just wanted him to get through the racing uh, that he had coming up recently bef before we committed. So obviously, um, yeah, he's, he's had a fair bit going on, but he seems to be in terrific order. So we're looking forward to we'll get through Saturday night and yeah, then try and have him there at uh, Cambridge as well as we can. Have you travelled to New Zealand with a horse before? Uh, no, nah, not with the horse. I've been over a couple yeah. of times, but yeah, it'll be the first horse I've taken over. And have you been to Cambridge before? Uh, yeah, it's a fair while ago. I went there with um, Donnie Hayes, took me there one night to have a look. So it's a long time ago when I was a young fella. I stayed with Donnie for a couple of weeks and took me touring around New Zealand to have a look at a few sites. It's actually quite unique because it's on the North Island and if you only watch Metro Racing, you think they race the opposite way, but Cambridge Row race the right way. It's a little bit of a unique track, but you can make wide ground out wide. I think a lot of people think you can't make ground out wide in those better races, but you can win from anywhere, but it is a lot more like one of our tracks, if you like, instead of the Kiwi tracks that seem to be a, bit, a little bit more open, if you like, and a bit more rolling. So that'll play into your hands pretty well. Yeah, I think, um, oh, well, I think in most of those... Better races, every track, everywhere, you're better off being up front if you can, but um, yeah, it, it looks a pretty good fair track, so hopefully it suits my horse. He seems to get around like he travelled to Albion Park and handled that pretty good, so I'm, I'm hoping he can handle Cambridge pretty well. 
I can't remember what Zeus went. That's what was a funny look in my face. But I think he went about a 54 last year winning the Waikato Flying Mile. So, um, and I think Duncan was hoping to get him back, but he's not going to be ready in time. So, um, yeah, I think it, I think it's great and it's good for you. And it's, I think it's very good for this horse because we've got some... You look at the rest of the field that they've already arrived, right thing. I'll, I'll stir them up. We've got the Australian Queen Alita. Because <laughs> it's trained to you know, even though it's trained by a Kiwi. Um, just Believe, Call Me The Breeze... Uh, there's one other Australian ones, but then you've got the three new Kiwi horses as well, Oscar Bonavina, Muscle Mountain. Uh, uh, no, there's only two because one of the other ones is not going to be ready. But um, it's going to be starting to become a really, really good field. But it must be great to get an invite into the inaugural one of these two. Yeah, it is definitely to be... Um, yeah, it's going to be the best horses from Australia and New Zealand. So they're the races. That's what you train the horses for, to try and uh, yeah. be part of these races and win them if you can. Yeah. You, you'll be out there to win it and uh, make it a lot of fun. You love the trotters, the way it's going, like it's, it is so good. We just recently, as you said, the Great Southern Star just finished. She went terrific in that. You go into a hammerhead in New South Wales. You've been to the Great Square in Queensland. You're now going to New Zealand. Like it, It's cool that we can travel these trotters instead of them just being at one stage, you know, almost Victorian only. It's, it's great how it's going now. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of opportunities for them. Like, obviously, you got to, um, yeah, you, you can't run in everything, but um, there's uh, opportunities here in Australia and, yeah, obviously overseas. We've seen in the last, you know, Just Believe and Elder Baron Zeus travelling recently and that. So there's some really great opportunities if you're, if you're fit and firing. No, absolutely. Uh, will you be running him in anything else? Will you be, like, getting him over there the week before, maybe for the Waikato Flying Mile or...? Probably just with the way the flights are working, that'll... He might get there a week before, but probably just run first up in uh, in the slot in the slot race, and then um, there's obviously there's some really good opportunities for him in the couple of months afterwards. But I'm just be worrying about the one race for a start. Obviously, it'll be pretty tricky to race him the opposite way at Auckland, where a few of the races are afterwards. Like, I actually think it, it w he would handle it, but you probably need a bit of practice at it. So um, I'll just be worrying about one race for a start anyway. Yeah, the Road Cup, I think, is the last of those. But there is, it's about six weeks of just quality, high-quality trotting races, you know, $100,000 races here and there. And then I think the Road Cup's about 500000 as well. And you've got the $600,000 tab slot. So just amazing money on offer and going from there. Are you taking a travel and made it all? Uh, just have the one at this stage. Oh, that's OK. Mate of mine, he'll tell me off if I don't ask. Well done for winning with Hefeftis, Hefeftis Phoenix. I wish they'd change his name. Just call him Harry or something like that. would be a lot easier on me. Uh, the other night, though, you made uh, Daniel Hibbert extremely happy, mate, and, and all the other owners as well. Good result getting him back to the racetrack. Yeah, he's obviously uh, quite a talented horse, Hefeftis Phoenix, I think it's pronounced. It's but um, <laughs> he's uh, like he's got a lot of ability I think the last time he raced RC Phoenix, I drove a face to Phoenix. Phoenix. That's obviously what we think of him. He's got a lot of ability, but um, yeah, he had an injury and had a long time off. So the owners were very patient, never put any pressure on, and we were able to just give him plenty of long, slow build up and plenty of swimming. And um, obviously, when they've had things go wrong, you never know how long you got them for. But we're hoping we, we can keep him sound and. He's got a few more wins ahead of him if we can. Anything planned for him long term, like medium term, or just keep racing him through his yeah, classes? Yeah, we'll just keep looking after him at this stage, and um, yeah, he'll if he wins a couple more, he'll be up to metro grade. But yeah, no big plans. Just look after him as good as we can. Chris, thank you very much. Um, met me at the gate. It's a nice backdrop. Don't worry about that. I am allowed on the property, but he was fixing the gate. And I said, oh, we'll just do it from here, so it's all good. Thank you very much. I uh, love talking trotters with you. Could talk with you all day, but um, congratulations. Good luck. One on uh, Saturday night, and then congratulations on getting an invite for the tab slide as well, mate. Um, awesome effort, and uh, keep doing what you're doing, mate. You're doing it great. Yep. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, man. Thank you very much.